Hey, 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 tech fans. Welcome once again to the I Can Cafe sessions. Uh, this particular I Can Cafe is on iBooks. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right on in. There's my iPad screen, and you find your icon right at the top there, the tan background with the open book, and go ahead and click right on that, and it'll open up iBooks. Actually, I'm going to go to the library. All right. So the first thing you're going to see, um, you probably opened iBooks before, and it uh, looks like a big wooden bookshelf, oddly enough. And there are several collections that you can have in iBooks. The particular collection that I have right now are purchased books um, in the EPUB format. Now, that brings me to why you have iBooks. If you have several ways of reading material from the web, what's the difference between something like Goodreader and something like iBooks? Well, good question. Uh, in Pages, which is another application that you downloaded onto your iPad, you can create EPUB format documents. And they are meant to be read in iBooks because it gives the documents a certain functionality that I'm going to demonstrate to you here in a minute. And uh, they're really nice to use. They're very visually appealing. And you can't open them in Microsoft Word or Goodreader or anything. that They're an Apple proprietary um, publication document, okay? So in that, there is a limitation, but since you have an iPad, and uh, you can certainly uh, feel free to load up your iPads in your I iBooks uh, bookshelves with as many EPUBs as, as your class uh, your classes require or, or as that you wish to, to purchase. Um, and they're very nice documents. Let me show you this particular collection here. And before I move on, let me show you what I mean by collection. Uh, if you look at the very top, it says purchased books. But if I go to the collections button, you'll see right up there at the top left, if I push that, I'll say, well, if I want to go, in, in my particular iBooks, books and purchased books are the same, but I can also go to PDFs. If I scroll down here to PDFs, that's another collection, and at the top it'll say PDFs. And that's just, uh, iBooks knows that if I download a PDF and put a PDF into iBooks, which you can, it will put it in a different collection. Okay, so I'm going to go back uh, to my purchased books, because I actually purchased those right from iTunes. All right, and I'm going to click on this physics book. It's motion in two dimensions right here. And it's going to open it up. All right, and let me show you real quickly what an EPUB is and why it's nice. So first of all, if I tap on the screen, I'm going to go next to library. There's that little bullet list button. I'm going to click that. Oops, click the bullet list button. And I want to go table of contents. So this is the EPUB book, and there's my table of contents. And I'm just going to pick one. Let's say, um, ah, 1.4, vector components. I'm just going to click on that. And it will take me right to the, right to the part in the EPUB book that is starting to talk about vector components. Now, like any book, you can imagine, I can swipe my finger, and I can go from one page to the next. Again, that shouldn't be terribly surprising. Um, like good reader, I can do some annotation. So let me hold my finger. If I hold my finger on some text and drag it across, it'll highlight it. So let's say I come down here, and I want to hold it here, and I want to highlight down here because this is some, somehow important. I just made a nice yellow highlight. If I hold my finger on the highlight, I get a menu. And I say, well, I want to highlight it in pink, or I want to highlight it in green. OK, so you have color choices. Um, I can also change that to an underline if I wish. And then I can add a note to that and say, this is important for the quiz, you know, whatever. OK. And off to the left, there's a little note. Um, if I move it over. You can see right there, okay, there's a little tab on the text. I've just pinched and dragged out to make it larger. And I can hit on that little tab, and that note will pop up that's associated with that highlight. Your teachers will probably tell you um, when or, and how to annotate your EPUBs. Uh, most specifically, uh, for probably for history, you're going to be downloading a history reader in EPUB format with some directions by your teachers as to how to use it. Don't worry right now too much about you know how you're going to be using it. You will be getting instructions, but it's just important that you know what an EPUB document is and what you can do with it. Okay. Well, I can also, if I you know highlight or underline and hold my finger over that, there's an arrow. If I go to the arrow, I have several options here. Um, I can copy, I can define that. So I just highlighted the word combined. If I hit define, 
Well, there you go. I get a nice um, dictionary definition of combine. I can also down there, if I hit search Wikipedia, it will take me to a Wikipedia or the web. That's pretty nice. If I put, hold my finger over it again, click the arrow, I can also search. And that's going to find any place in this EPUB document where the word combined shows up, which is very nice. Now, if you notice, this um, dialog box comes down from the upper right-hand corner. You see that magnifying glass icon? Well, that's the same thing. If I click on that, I can change it. I can say vector. Okay, and I can uh, click search. And it will go through and it will find all of the text references where the word vector shows up. And if you notice, it says, well, look, I've got like 590 of them. I can scroll down and it will take me immediately. So if I go, for example, I'm on page 29 now, but let's say I go vectors and direction page 7. And it will take me right to the text on page 7 where that is. So very, very handy stuff, okay? Um, the other thing, if I swipe through here a little bit, ah, another nice thing about EPUBs is that they're very interactive. So right here I have this CCW from East Convention, all right, uh, this counterclockwise, all right, so it, it's a rotate a vector activity. So if I click on this, okay, and then I click rotate a vector, oops, it's going to start going through an animated demonstration of what this means right in the text, which is very, very nice, okay. PDFs will not do that. So once it's done, I can click in the upper left-hand corner on the X, and it gets me right back into the text. I can then tap on this. So I can go to Table of Contents. I can go uh, just maybe to the first one, Vectors and Direction. I can swipe through this a little bit, and I think what happens... Oh, I was just there. Oh, for example, here we go. After each section in this book, there's a little quiz. So I can say, well, question 1 of 10, I'm just going to pick one at random C. Check my answer. Oh my gosh, I missed it. But you can go through, whether it's a quiz, an animation, a little video, um, EPUB documents have the ability for functionality within the document. Okay, they're very nice. Okie doke. Now, let's get out of here. I'm going to click on this, go to library. Okay. And I'm going to go up to collections. And I'm going to go down to PDFs. Now, I'm going to, um, on the top right, go edit. And I'm going to touch this particular PDF, I'm going to delete it, get it out of there. So let's say now we want to get a PDF into our iBooks. You can do that, okay? Again, you can use PDFs on any, you can open PDFs in Word, you can open PDFs in Pages, you can open them in Goodreader, but you can also open them in, in iBooks. And how do you get a PDF into your, into your iBooks? Well, if I uh, get out of iBooks and I go into my Safari app, and I want to go back here. Let's say I had a Google search. And uh, for those who have already watched the good reader training I did, I searched for the same World War II PDF um, on Google. This could be a link off of DrewNet as well. It doesn't matter. It all works the same way. I find a PDF. I'm going to go to the second link down. I'm, say, I'm looking at that saying, yeah, that's the one I want. You click it. And it's going to, oops, click it again. It's going to open it up on my iPad, and if you notice, in the upper right-hand corner, there's a button that says Open in iBooks. I'm going to click that, and it will put it right in the PDF collection. All right, And I'm more limited. If you'll notice at the bottom, all of the pages have little icons, so I can scroll to any page by clicking on the page's icon at the bottom of the page. All right, I can also go to my pages all as, you know, uh, I can select them in a big format like this. Um, go back to resume. Um, but I also can go to oops, a page of text, and I can use my search button again. I can say, for example, this is, uh, I will say, Hawaii. I'm searching for any place in Hawaii in the Pacific War. And I'm going to say search. And again, very similar to iBooks in the EPUB. In this PDF, it will search anywhere in the PDF for where Hawaii is mentioned. Okay, that's fine. I can also, if I wish, I can say um, here, I can highlight it. If I hold my finger over a word, it will highlight it. And I'm able to, once again, I can go define Churchill, Sir Winston, okay, or I can do a Wikipedia article on Sir Winston Churchill, whatever. Or I can put my finger over that and I can go search and it will search 
the document forever, wherever Churchill is mentioned, very similar again to the EPUBs. What you don't have the ability to do is all the annotation stuff that you did with the EPUB. Okay, so it's a little more limited, but again, I think you can see um, it's pretty nice. Um, if we go back here, tap this, and I want to go to page, let's say I want to go to page 21, and you finally, in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see there's a bookmark. If I click a red bookmark, okay, and then let's say I want to go over here to page 36, and I click the bookmark again. If there are certain pages you want to bookmark, and then I go to next to library in the upper uh, left-hand corner, and I will click Okay, and, um, oops, so sorry. Library. Click on my document, and, ooh, go to the bookmarks tab. I will get any pages that I have bookmarked um, with uh, my bookmark icon before. Okay, so if you go to the main document uh, menu, and go to the bookmark icon. Any any pages you've bookmarked will appear. Uh, not as flexible as the EPUB document, but it can be very, very useful. So there we go, iBooks. It's a great program. EPUBs are fantastic documents. Get to know them, uh, get to love them, and great luck in orienting yourselves uh, with iBooks. And if you have any questions, you know where to go. Feel free to seek somebody out, and uh, best of luck. We'll talk with you soon.